What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. It is Tuesday at 6pm and uh, in general today, EA haven't given us any content and uh, I actually don't mind that today because we've got something a little more important to talk about. So there is no new SBCs at all, no icons, uh, nothing I don't think. I think this was all there already. Um, pretty sure it was all there already and no new league SBCs, no new icons. There is a new objective um for the weekend again the weekend league player picks um let's just show you that it's, it's bugged out at the moment but it's the 10 win 16 win and 22 win player pick again which so far is actually every time we've had that um we've not got a promo so maybe this is another week with no promo i don't know um either way there is something a bit more important to talk about and obviously with ea very recently there's not been a good showing we obviously had the icon issue uh, last week, which has been going on for multiple years where EA employees or potential, allegedly EA employees have uh, been selling content to players for money. Um, EA made a statement about that. And I want to, we didn't, we didn't get back with like the update on that. Uh, but I want to read you the update on that. It's important that we uh, cover all our, all our bases here. Um, and uh, it says, basically, earlier this week, we were made aware of susp suspicious activity relating to highly rated content in FIFA Ultimate Team. We learned that foot items were granted to individual accounts that did not earn them through gameplay, i.e. opening a pack, purchasing through the transfer market, completing a reward challenge, SBC, or other engagement. It appears that one or more EA accounts which are either compromised or being used inappropriately by someone within EA directly in entitled items to these individual accounts. So they took responsibility. They basically said that they are going to ban people that bought these cards and are going to deal with the employees uh, if found to be from it within EA. And then explained what content granting is. And there you go. We have launched a rigorous investigation narrowing how this may have happened and identifying those accounts which have received. We will permanently ban any accounts identified as receiving items transferred nefariously. And we have suspended all discretionary content granting for an indefinite period. So that was the first problem. Then yesterday, Loads of people got granted hundreds of thousands of coins worth of packs, including Prime packs, Icon packs, 100k packs, Ultimate packs, 25k packs, Mega packs, 50k packs, the lot. And there was no rhyme or reason why some people got them and some people didn't. And I thought to myself, I've played this game to death. I didn't get any free packs. And EA came out and said, uh, off the back of that, um let me let me get it up for you here because again it, it's it's important that we get the uh the details the important details um so basically what they said was the community alerted us to an issue where a small number of players did not receive group rewards from sbcs when providing those players with the missing rewards we also incorrectly provided some non-impacted players with additional content those players will be able to keep that content now correct me if i'm wrong Giving people what they should have had, everyone's okay with that. I don't think anyone has a problem with that. But giving people that shouldn't have had content content is not just part of the same problem as what we have here with the icons. People had something that they shouldn't have had. They didn't earn it. They didn't get it through uh, opening a pack, purchasing through Transfer Market, completing a reward challenge. They just got given it. And so the fact that they're just allowing those people to keep that, which I don't really have a problem with, but they're not compensating everybody else is a problem because wh whichever way you want to look at it this is a, a competitive esport and so those people one way or another have a direct competitive advantage because they got given something they didn't earn now we can go into great detail as to the problems anyway with the reward system how much time needs to be spent on the game to get anything of note and the fact that somebody that finishes silver one can genuinely make 20 to 30 times more profit more coins more more return than somebody that finishes in the top 100 we can go into that we don't need to all i want to point out here is what they say here we know that the trust of our communities is hard-earned and is based on principles of fair play there is nothing fair nothing fair in saying some people got what they were missing that's fair some people got extras and some people didn't and that's just how it is there's nothing fair in that right so with that being said they've just they're just massively contradicted themselves to a degree of like 
hilarity, really. Like, like it, it is genuinely laughable. And that's what I tweeted about. And then last but not least for today, guys, um, Zelonius, uh, a, a top, top tier uh, FIFA player, a competitive player, a coach. Uh, he says, must read EA's official response to the mirror when asked about pros having to spend money to try to compete. You can acquire all items without spending money. They also suggest, just as in real football, pros should learn how to trade and get better at better an economy monitoring. So you sit there and you read that and you think, did, did they actually say that? And yes, they did. So, FIFA Ultimate Team is a multifaceted game of skill. It's important to know that you can acquire all items in the game without ever spending money. Can you? Can you? Let's just ignore the fact that it's 15 million coins for some of the top tier cards in the game and that in itself is a problem. Can you acquire all items? Just end there. You can't. There, there's just not enough supply. What, like what they're saying here, and I'm just going to read it again. Any professional competitive player, no, not even that bit. FIFA Ultimate Team is a multifaceted game of skill. It's important to know that you can acquire all items in the game without ever spending money. No, you can't. Because first and foremost, there are not enough of the items on the market for even one person to acquire that item, let alone 10 or 100 or 1,000 or as EA boasts, 40 plus million players that play this game mode. Are there 40 million R9s on the market? Of course there aren't, which means it's impossible for everybody to acquire m any of the top tier items just straight out. There's not enough supply. There's just not enough supply. And it's not just one player, right? But it, it, it's, it's multiple players, right? Pele doesn't exist. Hullip doesn't exist. Up until recently, I don't know if uh, Maldini is there anymore. Okay, there's one Maldini. It's 14 million coins. So if I wanted those four players that I just tried to search for, I need 60 million coins. And do you want to know why 60 million coins is a problem? Because it is an unreasonable, like not even a, oh, put in the time and effort and you'll get there. It is an unreasonable amount of time expected to get even anywhere close to that. I've played over 1,500 hours of FIFA 21 already, and I could not get anywhere near having enough coins for that. And one of the reasons for that is because, as my main man, uh, Spreadsheet Gaming, says, and we, we, do love, uh, we do love Josh, he says, uh, he said to me, let me just go and find his tweet. Um, he said to me, he, he said to me, I will get there eventually. Jesus, I'm getting a lot of tweets right now. Um, he said, what would at least make this palatable would be if they didn't do absolutely everything in their power each year to make grinding the game harder and harder. Untradable league SBCs, worse pack rewards, market and bid bans, less restrictive marquee matchup requirements, etc., etc. It's a joke. And so it's just such a true situation where you just, you, you can't, unless you live on this game, and even then it's unlikely, it's impossible, it's difficult. You can't actually get enough coins together because of the way they've done this game. And then, and then they have the audacity to say, any professional competitive player needs to demonstrate the skills of the meta game in order to be considered proficient enough to compete at an elite level, which includes trading, economy monitoring, squad rotation, and challenge completion. Now, there is so much to unpack with that, right? Because first of all, if you go to basically any single other competitive esport in the goddamn world, everybody is on a level playing field. You don't need economy monitoring. You don't need to be proficient at trading or demonstrate skills of the meta game, if, if whatever they even mean by that. You just need to be good at the actual game. That's it. As long as you're good at the game, you're in a dub spot, right? You you can go pro and you can learn and improve. If you log on to Fortnite, could you imagine if you started in a Fortnite game with a gun that is does 1% of the damage of some other guy in the game because he's spent money or economy monitored or traded or something like that to get this insane gun? It would be laughable. If Imagine going into Warzone and some guy's got, instead of three chest plates, he's got 10 chest plates because 
he just economy monitored or he traded to tension. It would just be like, look, this is just competitively unfair. And it's the same in FIFA. The one guy that has a prime icon moments R9 coming up against a guy who's got Dominic Calvert-Lewin up front has a distinct competitive advantage because this game has a skill gap that is created by the player's attributes, not by the player themselves, right? And so it, it's, it blows my mind that they expect people to be competitive, to have to learn to trade and learn to manage an economy and monitor an economy specifically when, and I can't find the tweet and I wish I'd favorited it or something, but I, I thought I'd responded to the guy and uh, I think Twitter's been like playing up. Oh yeah, here we go, I've actually got it. And this happens a lot, right? This happens a whole bunch, but I need to show you this guy as well because th this, this lends into the fact why this is a joke. Can someone please help? I packed Cruyff last week, used him throughout Weekend League, sold him last night and woke up to this message. I swear I'm not doing anything sketchy, please help. And I've seen this so many times. He's got a first owner tradable Cruyff. He obviously used him in the weekend league, right? He then gets a message. Hello, FIFA player. We noticed your account was recently involved in foot coin distribution, sending and receiving. Coin distribution is against our rules, so we have flagged your FIFA account and removed all your FIFA coins. What? What do you mean? The guy packed a Cruyff, sold him for 15 million coins, then got banned because they thought he was buying and selling coins. It's a joke, and it's not the first time it's happened. It happens mostly on PC, but it's not the first time it's happened. And so even if you do get the coins together to buy a big player, you might get banned for it. Run the foot market, Nick got banned erroneously just last week because he traded too much and made too many coins. Yet they're telling you that you can get these players that cost 15 million coins a piece by trading and monitoring the economy, but we might ban you if we don't like what you're doing with your trading and monitoring the economy, it blows my mind how they can be, how this response could, could be serious. Not, not just to some guy in the pub or not just like on some forum somewhere. This is to a, a you know, a national publication. This is to the mirror. This is to, this is to like the actual press. <laughs> this isn't just to some guy at Gamescom that's asking some questions and like, yeah, you can get all the players. Yeah, you can get all the players. This is, this is like, this is them going on record and just saying things that are, are true, but not really, right? Because you can get all the players by just playing the game. You have access to do it, but you can't. You know what I mean? It, it, it's, it, it's like saying, like, I, I, I can't even explain. I can't even explain because it, it, it's, it's just... There has to be some rationale. There has to be some reason. And there's no reason with getting 15 million coins for one player that even if you got the coins for, isn't even on the market, right? It makes it impossible. And you know, when the Star Wars issue came out where they were putting certain characters behind paywalls or time walls that was so extensive that it was almost against like... Uh, um, What's, what's the word I'm looking for? It was it, it was almost like against just... It, it's, it's like playing on people's like good nature, you know? It, it, it just goes against everything. And it's the same with like a prime icon moment R9. Let's assume he popped up on the market. Now, not only are you fighting against the other hundreds or thousands of people that are trying to buy him, but you're also fighting against the hundreds, thousands, maybe even tens of thousands of bots trying to buy him for one. Now, let's assume you even get him the time wall for that 15 million coins is entirely unreasonable. Entirely unreasonable. It is not, it's just not fair to say to people, you have to trade to get a chance to get our best players. And even then we might ban you for the things that you did to get the coins, to get the player that isn't even on the market anyway. It's just not fair. It then goes on to say, Although the goal is to win matches, FUT isn't just about playing simulation football in the stadium, just as football isn't solely about performance on match day. There are many areas where players need to be better than their peers in order to create advantage on the pitch. Just stupid. It's just, and what I mean by that is that there has to be regulations. Imagine if you're a goalkeeper in the real world and you just, you, you put glue on your gloves. You put some sticky resin on your gloves 
Now all of a sudden, every time you touch the ball, bang, it just it just sticks to your glove. And you just say, well, I'm just I've just created an advantage. That's all I've done. I've just created an advantage. I put some resin on my gloves that make the ball stick to it. Now I can save every shot as long as I touch it. Can you imagine if in if they did that in real world football, you'd be like, you're going to get banned. That's just not, that's cheating, essentially, right? There has to be some regulations within FIFA as well, where you're not creating an advantage by spending money or spending time or getting lucky in a pack, but you're creating an advantage because you've understood the game engine better than somebody else or you've you you you're, you've mastered the mechanics better than somebody else but you can give two exact let, let, let's take tex and tex let's put tex against himself with a regular goal team and a full prime icon moment team for sure the tex with the full prime icon moment team will win not because he's better because he's exactly the same but because he has a direct advantage with players in the game that are so arbitrary with how you get them that it doesn't create fair play. In fact, quite the opposite. It, compla- it, it creates a complete imbalance of gameplay, right? It carries on to say, progression is a prerequisite if you intend to be a professional player in any sport and esports are no different. And yet, FIFA is the only esport that is different. It's, well, I think sports games in general are the only esports that are different. Every other esport has a fair playing field, a level playing field. You don't get a bon- like in 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 uh, Rocket League esports. You don't have faster cars or bigger cars or different balls or different wheel types. You don't get boosts for longer or you can't flip your car quicker. It is just the skill of the person versus the skill of the person, and that's just not true in FIFA. EA, and then it goes on to talk about EA. And I just, I'm just, I'm just frustrated with it, guys. I'm just, I'm just frustrated with it. I'm, I'm frustrated with the fact that there's absolutely no accountability, and uh, that you know, you know, like I say, it, they're not lying, right? Because you can get all of the players in the game without spending money. There is nothing that is locked specifically behind a paywall, and that's their interpretation here. But it is incredibly disingenuous to suggest that any one person can get every or even any of the top tier items from just playing the game. Because we all know that that is absolutely ludicrous. That's where I'm going to end it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.